Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a app slash game review. So, um, as you can tell, this particular review is going to be about Nintendo's first foray into the mobile app market called Mitomo. That's M-I-I-T-O-M-O. -I, -I, I probably totally said that wrong, but... So, however you say it right, but that is the spelling of it. So, um, in case you've heard something about it or you're not quite sure what it's about... Mitomo is a social chatting game that kind of basically you chat basically helps you chat with your friends, learn a little bit something about them, answer questions, and at the same time earn uh, coins and gifts and things like that to level up your avatar. Um, so as you can see here, I'm on the left. Um, I've done a basic thing. I've answered a couple of different questions. I'm still at level one. I haven't answered too many questions. But once you've created your avatar, you can do it based on your um, importing a picture. Um, I've heard stories that it's hit or miss, so you can also manipulate your character. I didn't import and then made a few changes here or there. Um, but once you create your avatar, you can link it to Facebook and Twitter. So if your friends are using it, then you can add them as friends. I haven't seen a way to easily add it manually. But um, as your friends are added, then they should start showing up, assuming they're on Facebook and Twitter. Um, you can also link your account to your Nintendo account. So if you are a Nintendo game owner or player, you can link it that way. Well, I am not, so I don't have that link, but it is not a requirement to actually use this app. Um, and then, so essentially, once you're in the app, everything's set up, you're good to go. You'll start answering questions and you'll start earning gifts as you use the app regularly. Um, as you can see, I've earned a gift for being fashionable, so it gave game tickets. I haven't seen kind of what that's supposed to be used for yet. Um, but you get notifications when you sign or when you open the app again um, and you level up your character and use different things. So um, I have some notifications, so I'm going to... Uh, take a look at what one of my friends said as far as uh, replying regarding, I think it was pizza or bread that um, I answered a question about. So I'll stop this particular um, bit of conversation. The thing that kind of was bugs me is that it often wants you to take a picture and share it, so I don't want you to do it every time. So that may get annoying for some people. For me, it's not a big deal. I kind of don't really want to share it every time. Um... So in this case, I'm going to say, nope, I don't want to share it. Um, and then it'll say, do you want to save the picture? I'll say, don't save it. Um, there's an error code. I don't know what happened. So maybe it was just a sync issue. So I will exit out of this. Um, and then I can see, by, and then basically the interface is pretty straightforward from here. Um, you can see what recent conversations in are there are, are going on. So I recently answered a question, what's been going on? And I said, I saw Batman versus Superman. Um, I didn't quite understand the mixed reviews. I kind of liked it. Um, some people say it didn't hold to the comic book. Some people say they didn't like all the killing. So uh, one of my friends said, um, it's on, let's see, Deadpool is awesome. So you can reply easily. I'll say, I loved Deadpool. And I'll say, that's it. Or let's see before I say I love Deadpool 2. 2. And hit OK and then OK again. It'll send the message so you can continue the conversation. Um, and then going back, um, it'll take you back to your main screen. You can pan around um, in 360 degrees. There's no actual zooming in or out. Um, you can also see a summary of questions you've answered. So... Um, um, essentially, you'll see it's kind of a stream of what you've been, what questions you've answered. So um, you'll know questions that you skipped, questions you've answered, and things like that. You can also see an updated list of your friends, and you get points for adding friends. Um, by hitting Add Friends, it still does uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, and then it looks like this actually answers my questions that if you want to add a friend and you're in front of them, then you can do face to face and tap the same symbol. Um, I'm not sure quite how that works. Maybe it ties to particular information like Facebook and Twitter. 
Um, and then as you earn money, you can see I here I have 2,800 coins. So in the Mitomo shop, I can add things to my character so that headphones, shorts, and shirt is an upgrade to my character. Um, it takes a little bit of time to load, but you'll see a price. So if there's things that you want to add that you see, then you can add stuff as well. So um, in this case, if I have 2,800 gold coins, if I want to add a different hat, let's say, uh, let's see, what kind of hat do I like? I have 2,800 coins. I like this pirate hat. So I will check it out and hit next, redeem my coins. So now I can, and then we had done shopping. So now I've added myself a pirate hat. So I'm a headphones wearing um, pirate guy. So um, pretty straightforward there. Hitting the menu, you can check out your own profile, um, see what level you're on, what level you're on, what points you have, that sort of thing. Um, you can also edit your avatar so if you want to change uh, various characteristics or traits or things like that um you can do that as well so if you don't like your hairstyle or if you want to add change your eye style or color or hair color or anything like that you can do that as well um you can check out what's in your gift box so as you earn coins and candy and tickets and that things like that you can redeem that as well so i will add that to my um inventory as well so it's basically gamifying um conversations with your friend um nothing there's nothing too special for me i it's kind of a hit or miss as far as likability um it does take a few seconds to load so that's kind of a turn off for me i kind of would want a faster load time so maybe because it is its initial in its initial release that it may take some extra time to um load or install or sorry load the various features and things like that because it is more game than social chatting and you are in this um 3d atmosphere um so that's all there is for that it is available for android and ios for free so definitely worth checking out um i did know that if you are on android if you're on a rooted device on um, ios if you're on a jailbroken device the app itself does check for that so it will generally from what i've heard it'll crash on start very few people say it loaded fine even if it, you are jailbroken or rooted but in the event that you do have root um, on android you'll need to install exposed installer and then um, two modules the first is root cloak r-o-o-t-c-l-o-a-k that is available in the directory for ex the exposed framework um, that will kind of put it on the whitelist to um, mask that you have root um, there's a second app that or module you'll have to install which will be in the show notes called um, Mitomo Security Bypass um, it's available on XDA so that's more or less why I um, trusted it so there will be um, a link for that to download and install that once you've done that um, you'll need to add uh, Mitomo to the root cloak or well, sorry, once you've enabled both modules and restarted your device, you'll need to add Mitomo to the root cloak um, safe list or basically apps to block and then restart your device and you should be able to load the app from there. That's what I um, had to do for um, on my device to get my Mitomo working. For iOS, from what I understand, if you're jailbroken, um, I'll assume that you have CD installed and then there's a module called XCOM, X, that's X-C-O-M, uh, once you install that, that should, I think, allow you to um, um, have have it bypass the jailbreak check for iOS devices. I don't have any iPhones or iPads to test it on, so I'm not sure how well it will work. But just doing a search for Mitomo iOS jailbreak, um, a d number of Google results should pop up to help you out to bypass that. Same with Android. Um, so that's really all there is for the um, uh, review. So if this is something that interests you or you're wondering kind of what it's all about, that's basically it in a nutshell. You talk to your friends, get to know them better, earn points at the same time, and upgrade your character, and get yourself a 3D avatar. And then for me, I can take my own screenshots, so um, I don't really need to do it via um, 
the Mitomo app, but it is an option if you want to share it that way as well. So if you just want to take a snapshot of your avatar, then that is an option. Um, so that's all there is for that. So if you have a question about the app in general and or the um, running it on a rooted Android device, I can help. So I can attempt to help on that side as well. Um, you can email me at headphonesdale at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at patelin01. Um, but that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening and until next time.